Hey guys, and welcome to uh, another tank review with uh, myself, and today we are going to... Wait a minute, dubstep sheep. I thought we already reviewed the Century in 7-1. Yes, we did, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what we're doing? We're gonna quick play a game in my Century, and just because I feel like it. And, uh... That means also... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna just play a quick game, and that doesn't mean anything also. Uh... Actually, I was lying. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to play Quick Game in My Centurion because I just loaded up in it, and I thought, hey, what the heck, let's record it before I start my tank review. And we've got a really odd tank review for you guys today. Uh, the S-51. And for those of you who know what the S-51 is, then you might cry. Those of you who don't, then prepare for the weirdest tank review you've ever seen. So... We'll just see how that goes. Uh, uh, by the way, this is a tier 10 game on uh, on uh, six feet line. Not doing too well right now, but I think it's 100. That's probably not a negatory, actually. Right there. And the T32 has bounced me. Taking some hits from some other. Oh dear, I7. Oof. My track ate the shot. Okay, the I-7's dead. Missed. Crap. Uh-oh. Not doing too badly. I did load up pretty slowly, however. There's an M46. I'm gonna go around and flank with the M40. And he's dead. Alright, there's an Amex 50B over there. We didn't penetrate their armor. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised the E100 didn't totally one-shot me there. Jeez. And I didn't penetrate him, obviously. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Not seeing much yet. There's T92. Oh dear. Oh dear. We damaged them. Oh, is he AFK? He must be. Oh, maybe not. Ugh. That was close. Oof. And there we go. Enemy is hit. Ho oh ho! And I got hit by the MX-50B. Didn't do too bad, though. Not bad, not bad. Quick game. Quick game, my Centurion. I thought I just wanted to kick the tank review off with my Centurion. So, not terrible for Tier 10. I got Spotter, that's good. Some damage here. IS-7, I knocked out his track. And that's pretty much it. I got some spotting on these other tanks here, but... Other than that, not bad. Uh, so, the S-51. Like I was saying, for those of you who know what it is, you're probably going to want to cry, because, like I said, it's going to be a pretty weird tank review. I'm going to quick sell my Object 7, or 416. And we're going to go 1 mil, 468, 468, comma, da -da 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 -da. 
205. And we'll head to the tech tree. Now, the S51. Guess what it is? It is a tier 7 artillery. <laughs> and I've never reviewed an artillery before. And I think this is going to be my only artillery review. Probably ever. I just was curious to review it because I don't know why. I just want to. So I kind of want to review it. So that's what we're going to do. If we do terrible, go oh well. Alright, let's just see. I think the KV2 is what leads up to it. KV2, yeah, the KV2 leads to it. That's kind of weird. The KV2 leads to the S51. So everybody who has the KV2 is in for artillery. If they, those of you who don't like artillery, then too bad. But anyway, the S51. Well, I suppose you get suppose you can get 5150, but still. Alright, this might take a long time to get into battle, but we're going to... We're gonna try it anyway. And purchase, and we got the 203 millimeter gun. That thing's a beast. And we're gonna purchase the radio. Oops. And the uh, engine. And there's the engine right there, and the tracks. And there we are. So, fully upgraded. S51. Let's take a look at this thing. It's more of an assault gun than anything else, really. Okay, let's put this guy on. Let's put this guy on, and let's. Hmm. And we don't need gold. Who cares? And let's throw a gun rammer on here. Large caliber artillery rammer. Okay, so the S51 more of an assault gun than an artillery really so you yeah but uh... big big gun let's take a look at the characteristics of the tier seven russian or i should say soviet artillery or assault gun developed by the graben central artillery design bureau in fall of 1943 the s-51 passed trial successfully in the spring of 1944 but never entered mass production 350 hit points Ooh. Engine power 600, top speed 30 kilometers an hour. Eh, not bad for artillery. Traverse speed 20 degrees. Ooh, hull armor. Eh, I've seen worse. 60 in the front, 60 in the sides, and 60 in the rear. At least it's cons consistent. Standard shell damage 1,388 to 2,313. There you are. Standard shell penetration 77 to 128. Rate of fire 1.08 rounds a minute. 12 uh, degrees of gun traverse, 330 degree range. Range 625. So, I played this thing like literally once in the test server, and I just played it because it looks kind of cool. I don't know, but ooh, tier seven might be kind of a stretch to get into battle. So if so if we don't get into battle, I have a backup plan just in case we don't get into battle. My backup plan is I'll turn this video into a sort of a I'll just I'll just play other tanks until uh, until we get into battle. I think we'll wait two minutes. Artillery actually surprisingly people play artillery on the test server. I think uh, and actually there's really good artillery players on the test server like people who have the bat chat and I, I saw an M12 with a mark of I think or no it wasn't an M12 it was a uh, T92 with a mark of excellence on the test server and uh, and he uh, did good on our team when we were in the battle so. Um, so yeah, uh, try and remember what the aiming time on this thing is. If it's not super long or anything, but I don't know. We're already we're halfway done with our waiting here, so yes. If not two minutes, then we will. Uh, if we don't get into battle, we'll just head out in one of our other tanks. Oh drat! I shouldn't have sold my object for one six. I was gonna go out in that again. Oh well. I can always do like some other tank that I have. But yeah, the S-51 is, uh, like I said, it's a tier 7. Yeah, a, um, SPG, I guess, you self propelled gun, you could call, you could call an assault gun, or you could call an artillery, uh, if you wanted to. Um, I have a feeling that 
when they developed this, the track was like the um, the hull was so much more shorter. Or they developed like a uh, a uh, a like the gun wasn't any smaller, but the the hull and the tracks were much smaller, I think. Or they developed something similar to it that looked a lot the same as the S51, but I can't remember, honestly. Uh, I said we'd wait two minutes, but let's wait two minutes and thirty seconds. Cause last yesterday you watched my video, right on the two minute mark, at literally one fifty nine, I got into a battle. So let's just wait a little bit longer, and then uh, SPG. Wow, yeah, actually, if you look at the stats here, vehicles by type: heavy tank seventeen, medium tank seventeen, light tank eleven, tank shorter eighteen, and SPG thirty. SPG. There's a lot of people playing uh, parties on the test server today. Holy crap! Uh, so that's probably why we're not getting in right away. So that's um, that's 240 right there. So we'll just exit there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Trying to think of what else can we can do. Let's go with our STA2. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, it's a tier eight. This is the premium one. The STA1 is the non-premium. They're very much the same. The STA2 is only slightly better uh, for what you're paying for really it's it's worth it I guess but it's not like amazingly better than the STA one but I suppose if I mean if you want to spend that kind of money that's fine. I only have one tier 8 premium and that is the uh that Tiger 8.8. So tier 10 game on well oh, what's this map called again? I don't think it's is it Cliff or something? My god, you see this all the time on the test server. Not to pick on the Russian people, I'm sorry for those of you who watch my videos if you're Russian or have some connection to Russia. It, se it seems to me that the Russians on here always just have to nag on the United States. I don't know why. I don't, is there some. Is there some, like, sort of grudge? Okay, now he's picking on the. Europeans. Okay, so this guy obviously has some has some uh, kind of issues with surrounding countries, but um, anyway, uh, that aside, let's just kind of focus on the game here. We don't need to get all puffy about our. Uh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, are you kidding me? What the? Uh, oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's terrible. Was that the? Ah, uh, my stupid. Uh, yeah, good riddance, jeez. Uh, I tell you, sometimes the test server just makes me want to cry and scream at the same time. Oh my gosh. Uh, USA kaput. Oh my god. And it's a Russian guy. Okay. Well, anyway. That was terrible. That was bad. That was really bad. I didn't even get. What? Like 200 feet off the cap circle, and I stink and get team killed by the object 261. That's just. Typical. Typical. Uh, I tell you. Some people. This is not what the test server is meant for, guys. It's not what it's meant for. Mm. Anyway. We'll try our S-51 again. And if we get into battle, then good for us. If not, then oh well. We'll just 
try something different. We'll wait two minutes and 35 seconds. And I just need to check. I'm checking my phone. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, man, that's annoying. It's especially bad on the live server when people team kill you for no reason. That usually doesn't happen that much, but seriously. I, I can see if it's an accident, if like the RD's gonna... If the RD shoots and he misses target, if you're near the... Near target he's shooting at and he hits you accidentally, then I can kind of see that. But, I mean, you can kind of prevent that if you just look at your map, if you're an artillery player. But intentional team killing is just... Sometimes it's like... No, it's... There's no reason to do that, and especially and the live server especially, it's it costs people their tank and stuff. And even though you get compensation for team killing or team damage, even if it is accidental, it doesn't it doesn't uh, compensate nearly as much for the probably XP that you would have gained if you had actually been able to play instead of just getting killed in the first ten seconds of the game. So. Yeah, sorry, little rant there. Um, and then that brings me to uh, kind of to another little rant about how people are saying artillery should be nerfed because they're too OP. But um, really, artillery they're not OP. A lot of people say they can one shot. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can one shot. They're meant to do that. They're supposed to provide long range fire support for tanks going to the front line. Artillery are not supposed to be front line. I've seen people yell, hey, artillery, get up to the front line. You're doing nothing. Artillery are not supposed to be on the front line. That's not what they're meant for. Uh, if you knew anything about history, you would know that artillery, like I said earlier, were meant to provide support fire against tanks. And they did have big guns, yes, because they had that capability to mount bigger guns because they didn't have to move as, around so much as tanks normally would. And the armor on them is just so much more worse than any other tank that it doesn't matter if you have a huge gun you just have to run up to them and you can ram them and stuff and they'll die but people are just puffy about getting one shotted by artillery when they when they drive straight in our artillery and the artillery is reloaded and the artillery boom there you are shotguns them in the face well and then they get mad well don't drive straight don't drive into something, the tank that's pointing at you, regardless if it has no arm or anything. Use common sense, guys. I mean, come on, even if it's artillery, just don't, don't underestimate them. Because I remember I was in my birch gun, and it was on Himmelsdorf, and basically what it was, I don't know if you can see it, but there was like, there was like a wall here, and I was sitting on the one side of the wall, and I could see the wall was like, right from the other side of the wall they were coming up the hill two little light tanks light tank zooms around I boom shoot him <laughs> and then the one tank behind him that was like immediately behind him stopped he backed up and then he zooms out thinking he could I don't know what he's thinking there I'm like well if I can kill your friend I can probably kill you too so boom another kill <laughs> and then the uh... Kramo was a little bit smarter he actually uh, he actually ended up uh, killing me because he poked out a little bit and I shot and then he came around so that's why uh, so that's four minutes into it so uh, I think we'll set the S51 aside for today um, uh, so so this video will be not uh, titled an S51 review probably not uh, we'll set it aside for a different day and I'll record when I get into battle um, so, uh, for those of you watching this video at the beginning, then uh, it will not say S51 review and just ignore what I have to say at the beginning. So yeah, our STA1 is still in battle, he and we, uh, and there we go. And we got 17,000 credits for uh, compensation. Uh, credits, compensation, or no, compensation 8,000. See, that's nothing near what you would have gotten probably if you would have been able to actually battle in sickness. Not even, it's it's a it's a good thing to get compensation for getting killed by allies, but still, I mean, it just, it just makes me mad.
we're gonna head out in my object seven hundred four right now. Uh, and I'll probably just put an annotation in the beginning of the video that will say this is not a tank review of the S fifty one. I decided not to do it. So, oh well. Um, see, it's a tier ten maximum game on South Coast. Actually. I'm on the fence about this map. I kind of didn't like it, but I kind of don't in some areas, depending on what tank I'm driving. But it's not bad. I, it's not like there's only one map that I really kind of hate. I don't like uh, Stalingrad really at all. I don't know why. And Karkarov isn't really my favorite either, but it's not bad. But anyway, so. Uh, sorry, you do this. Scratch my ear. I didn't mention my ear. But anyway, um. Let's see. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to head to the beach. <laughs> Probably. So I'm gonna call this Waffle Trigger. Actually, wow, we have a tier 8 on the, our team. And so does the enemy team, huh? Oh, Waffle Trigger's gonna head up that hill there. Smart move. Let's go this. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna head to the beach because I have a feeling that the enemy team is probably gonna be scouting up on this beach here. So should have put binox on this thing so then I'd be a, a little bit farther view range that I could actually see. Uh, the bad thing is, is you're exposed. Uh, your sidearm is exposed from anything that's aiming from like over here, roughly. So. Man, I need some more support on here if I'm gonna actually hold this area. But you never know, maybe, maybe the enemy team hasn't chosen to go out this way, so. Oh, never mind. Leopard 1 up there. You always have to watch out for tanks coming up here, because I actually landed on top of an AM AMX something or other heavy tank. I landed on him and I just totally wrecked him. Ah. He actually did some damage to me. I was kind of surprised. Oh. I'm going to angle a little bit here so he, he does. Okay, there's the uh, FE-215B. Let's go, bud. Oh, he's smart. E100 is right there. I can't. Oh, there he's right. There. Ah, missed. Hopefully, if he shoots me. I can block. Oh no! Oh, I blocked that shot, and I blocked the that waffle trigger still on his. I think he wasted either two or three shots, so he's not on his reload just yet. He's falling back, so I don't want to get... Oof! There's the E100 right there, and... Oh, wow, actually, did some damage to him. Not bad. Uh... Okay. Uh... Ooh. I think I'm gonna... The Waffen Traegers up here. Oh! Okay. I think we can kind of leave him. Because... I don't want to get flanked by him. But at the same time, I don't... Oh! There he is right there. Oh. The E100 is... Oh, there's a flash. Oh, dear. Ah, the flash missed me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die now. Oh, maybe not. We got some support. And I'm dead. Off and trigger got me. Not bad, not bad. For tier 10 game, I suppose. We need more support on that flank for sure, though. All right, then. 
Dee -dee 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 -dee. Let's actually... Sell my M4. Nah, I don't want to risk. Because I'm always i always afraid that if I sell one of my tanks that I have in my live server that I'll accidentally sell it on my live server. But I know that's not true, but I just want to take the I just want to take the precaution, guys. Over over precautionary. I'm gonna rebuy my uh uh what do you call it? Um Object four one six. Where'd it go? Oh there it is right there. Cause I wanna have another game in it. I didn't I don't think I played it enough, honestly. Throw a gun rammer on there again. Oh, I forgot to uh, research everything again. Ooh, yeah. They're not research. I gotta purchase all my stuff. Okay, let's throw a gun rammer on there quick. I don't need that. I need this. And quick. mount that. And there we go. All right. We're set. Object 416. Pretty good tank. I enjoy it. Not as much as some other tanks on here, like Century or anything like that, but not bad. Fun tank to play. Is a tier 8, like I said yesterday on my other video, if you would watch that video. And we're on Swamp. Tier 10 maximum battle. We've got a tier... Oh, actually, I'm not the lowest. We've got a uh, STA-2. Enemy team has an AMX CDC. Man, I enjoyed that tank a lot, actually. Very, very uh, satisfied with uh, that premium. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a left. The FV4202 uh, is asking if we speak English. And I said, yep. So he's gonna come this way. AMX50B up here as well. So. Oh no. Uh. Ah, this is where I was. Uh, was with my Centurion and I did that okay. Uh, that I that I did my um, okay game. This thing's so low profile and like two feet of water, you can actually like. Oh, can't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh. AMX CDC is up there. Tier 8. Yeah! Got the bat chat. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, uh, the AMX CDC is over there. He made a good move. I need to fall back. Uh, there's no way I'm going to go up against that AMX 50B. Uh... Okay. Now uh, there's the M46 and a. Oh dear. I'm gonna die for sure. Set me on fire and I'm dead. Oof, and he took a big hit too. Yeah. 
Amex 50V is pretty formidable. I should I should have fallen back a little bit earlier. Probably would have survived then a little bit longer than uh, before, but yeah. So yeah, we'll set out my Centurion again. I man, I love this tank. Honestly, it's I love it a lot. So we'll do it again. And then I think, hmm, what then? I don't know what we'll do then. I'll think about it. I think I'll switch to a lower tier. I think I'll actually do tier. I think I'll rebuy the Amex uh, CDC and go with that. Because I haven't played that in a while. I kind of wanted to play it again because I enjoyed that tank actually a lot. Like I said earlier. Well, it's a tier 10 maximum gain. Uh, and I can't remember. So, if you really want to know, reverse the video back to a couple seconds ago and look at the map name. I should really pay more attention, but, uh, oh well. Now we got the Turtle of Doom on our team, the T95. I always thought that was a tier 10, but it actually is a tier 9. Did not know that. Uh, Time to roll out! One of these days I'll review the T95. All the mediums are down there. I think I'm going to go down there with them, probably. Because usually there's a lot of tank, uh, heavy tank mumbo jumbo up, ahead, up there, so I don't really want to get involved in that. So we'll head down the hill. I usually have more luck in my mediums on the um, valley kind of side of the map, so that's what we'll do. I think I'll stick with the IS-4. Oops, I mean to do that. Not seeing anything just yet, but... Tank's very mobile. I enjoy it a lot. So that's it's another good reason why uh, you should get this tank. Cause um, thing is, if somebody's about to shoot you and you just angle yourself really quick, hopefully either your tracks will eat the shot, or if your turret, you can move it a little bit to the side, and uh, your turret front will bounce hopefully. And the thing is, if you're reloading, move your turret like this, cause it'll be a harder target to see. And if your tank is, especially if artillery's firing, you move your tank like this if you have the mobility. So you're a harder target that basically usually it'll help but I don't know just makes it harder for the enemy to uh, get a solid target on you oh I took a uh, smallish hit from something not sure what though exactly oh I think it's some it's oh dear it took another hit something from the side I know so oh it took another hit oh dear Take another hit. Oh dear. Okay. Aha! Enemy armor destroyed. Not getting us anymore, are you, bud? Oh, we got a team killer. Aha! I see who's shooting us now. Two mediums. On the up by the bridge, we're gonna, we're gonna need some help if we're gonna. Amex 50B up there is being some. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of trouble. So, good thing we got him, dispatched him quickly. Oh. no more return fire from the enemy. So either they have moved or they have tried to. Uh, fake us out into thinking that uh, they're not there any longer. Safe to say, I can move up to this building right here. Oh, nope. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, the T26A is still up there, so. Alright, so now they are falling back because they're in some arty fire, so now's my chance to move. 
Hopefully where they can't get a shot on us. I did take some significant hits from the Amex 50B and these two mediums sitting up here on the hill, so. Hopefully they will. Oh, oh dear. Did something there. Ah! We got it. Everybody out. He's firing heat, I think. I didn't get a chance to reload quick enough. Or not reload, uh, aim quick enough. I was gonna uh, shoot that object from 40, but I didn't. Uh, he knew I was coming, so. Probably a bad move on my part, but. Uh, oh well. Alright, we'll quick uh, rebuy the. Um, we got a victory in our object 416. Nice. Uh, we'll quick rebuy the uh, Amex CDC, and then I think after that we'll kind of wrap the video up after that, so. Yeah, so. Oh dear. Oh, I need to purchase an additional slot and load standard ammunition. And purchase, and we're good. Let's load a gun rammer on here. Or do we. We don't even really need a gun rammer, but I always put one on just for the extra edge, you know. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. If there will be a little bit of a. Right, uh. When I accidentally, uh minimized my window there will be a little bit of probably a, my screen will turn black probably because uh, my recording software only records the window that you're in right now and in that case that's where the tank so if you like um, don't full screen it it'll uh, it will uh, not it will have black around the edges of the screen ah nice a tier 8 skirmish on Miralbanka and I was pretty positive that we were going to get a skirmish battle in this thing. Because that's what we had before. And we got a Amex CDC as, on the enemy team as well. So, nice. And I didn't get any camouflages for this thing. It looks much better with camouflage. I'm just going to say that right now. But, uh, yeah. We'll see if we can do uh, good in this thing. Ah, we've got a scorpion. I need to review that thing pretty soon because I promised you guys I would review it and Easter has already passed so I'll review it uh, let's set that to be my next review of the scorpion uh, and we'll kind of postpone the S51 review until a little bit later so being this is a skirmish kinda need to stick relatively close to one another <coughs> excuse me I think I'm gonna fall this T-15 before mod one, and we're going to scout this general direction. And I think the light tank is on his own, honestly. Oh, geez, I almost started driving up on top of the T-15 before mod one. Now he's uh, basically spotted almost half of the enemy team and he did a good job too he fell back quickly and he uh... he did uh... well so he gave our relative locations for our uh... artillery so good teamwork effort here oh, now the medium is giving chase to him me and the t-54 mod one have not spotted anything just yet but I think we're going to spot something pretty soon. It looked like the enemy team hadn't got too far from their capture uh, point, so hopefully we can sneak in for a ambush attack. I will probably get there already. We already got one kill on them, so. And still not spotting anything just yet. And I don't believe anything has spotted us yet, either, so... Hopefully we can... I don't want to pop out too much of my tank, but luckily this thing has good gun depression, so we don't have to worry too much about... Oh! T-54 just bounced. And there's the arty, right on target, and... Missed the arty. Oh, he's going for the 
Ah, I fired at the exact same time. He was running. Oh dear. Ah, the enemy Amex CDC. Missed him again. Oh dear, I'm taking some hits from multiple targets here. Scorpion's trying to help me here. And I'm dead. The Egg Tiger. The Egg Tiger, excuse me. So, not great game, honestly. Didn't get any. Got only damage on the MXCDC, so. Yeah. Ah, I have this compelling urge to just try this again. You know what? No. I don't want to prolong the video any more than we have to. So. We're going to go once again in our object 416. And I think we'll call it a day after that. So, yeah. Tier 10 game on Malinovka. Whew. There's not a whole lot I can do here, probably. Ah, enemy team has a bat chat. I swear, every time there's a bat chat on the enemy team, it just... They always want to kill me. Or it just seems that way. I'm a bat chat arty magnet. I don't know why. I am. So, hopefully, it won't be the death of us. Yeah, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm, I almost don't want to scout the little edge line. I'm going to see where this... Where the... Uh, I have a feeling that a lot of heavy tanks are going to hit the hill. But I am thinking that... Uh, yeah, I'll follow the object from 40. I, I'm enough of a low profile tank that I don't need to worry about. Uh, we got the IS-7 spotting the enemy team. We've got an IS-4 up ahead. Uh-oh. Bounce the IS-4. Oh, we need to fall back. Definitely fall back. We just took a huge hit to our turret, and I think right now we're just going to sit back and enjoy the show. Oh dear. Bounced. Ah. Bounced him. Now on my E25, I can actually uh, hide behind. Actually, uh, I might be able to do it. Yep, I can do it. Fine. Oof, that was close. So I'll be able to hide behind here. Just enough gun depression. Actually, not enough gun depression. Okay, I think it's safe to say we can move forward now because the ice fours. And we're not going to make it up this hill. I need to uh, back up, actually. The risk of... Oh, that... Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks for him. I kind of want to make a break for it, but I don't want to at the same time. I can... I have not paying attention. Nope. No dice. And... Perfect. Or not. What the heck? That's weird. Bounce the ob er, IS-4. Excuse me. And... and didn't do anything to him either. Well, so they're gonna get the. Just barely. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, dear. Fall back, fall back. That was close. Man, this is. Okay. 
We've got the Waffen Traeger. Right there. And no dice once again. I'm hitting them, but I'm just not penetrating. Unless I'm getting hit at critical hits, I can't tell. Hmm. Wondering where he went. You know, the I-7 is up there. I don't want to run the risk of... This is a bad idea. This is a bad, bad, bad idea with an injured driver. Bad idea. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Not seeing anything, not seeing anything, not seeing anything. And I'm almost, almost there. And we're good. That was close. Okay, so now the IS-7's got some support, even though it is just me. We're going to go ahead and see if we can spot some tanks for our artillery. Oh, there's the E100. Now, I could probably flank him. But it's probably going to end badly, though. And yeah, it does. It was, oh, I didn't even know he was there. FE215B. So, kind of a tough game at tier 10 with Harbs 416, but not bad for ending. I did get some hits on him, but I'd like to see what the results, uh, post battle results are from that game. So, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And that was kind of, yeah, we're going to make this uh, episode of Derping Around on the Test Server because I really didn't do a whole lot. Uh, so thanks for watching uh, Derping Around on the Test Server with Dubstep Sheep, and hope to see you in a new episode of uh, Derping Around, uh, etc. And I think, just kind of an FYI heads up, I think my next tank review will be the M56 Scorpion, which you've all probably been waiting for. Uh, I've been waiting for it, I know a lot. <laughs> waiting for my own review, that's poor. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and all, as always, good luck on the battlefield.